There, look, we win. Mostly due to them running away. Like I said, it's got some perks, being at a high level. That's how the thief wins. He puts a little sticker on his forehead for what level he is. And eventually the number is so high that uh, all the enemies retreat. And uh, he that's how he, that's how he succeeds on his quest. I think that's going to be how it works out. It's not that he gets strong, it's just that he puts a, a larger number on his forehead. The Stick of Truth. Um... Eh. I, uh, I, I am a, fan, a fan of South Park in general, but the content is not really the kind of stuff I ever have streamed or YouTubed. It doesn't really fit in with my channel. You have not, you've probably noticed I'm not like a uh, crude, vulgar, 15 year old style slang tuber. Whatever you want to call those guys. The ones that get all yelly and sweary about stuff. <laughs> That's not what you get on this channel. So a stick of truth South Park doesn't really fit in, I don't think. I don't spend, like... The way I pick games, primarily when I'm choosing a game to Let's Play or stream. Number one, it's a game that I like. That's just the start. But I do spend a little bit of time thinking, you know, who watches my videos, what kind of uh, audience do I have, and, uh, you know, to some degree, is this video going to get any views, should I even bother? Although that's, you know, it's not a huge priority, but it's, it's, it's you know, it's something you think about, right? Some of you guys might have noticed, I've even added some advertisement monetizing on my uh, my YouTube channel. Not Twitch, because whatever. But uh, you'll see the occasional little banner ad or video ad now. And it makes me a little trinket of money, and that's nice. So, you know, um, if you think about it in those sorts of terms, you should probably be recording games that at least get some views, <laughs> rather than just, you know, one or two, and then that's it. Alright, we're actually doing... The fact that we've escaped that battle, and we're not dead, uh, fills me with hope. We're probably going to make it to the Lich. Well... Yeah! <laughs> Alright, this floor rarely kills me. Have to fight this one, you can't run away from him. That's a dangerous fight. Because he can hit real hard. Ah, giants running away. <laughs> okay, so I'll put a quick save here just because this is a long dungeon. But because we made it to the Lich on our first try, I think we could make it here reasonably commonly, like without too much struggling. The question really is, can we kill the Lich at our current level? And I don't know if that's going to work or not. Um, the Lich is not going to run away, basically. <laughs> And we don't have a very high base damage. We can't use Fire 3 or Harm 3 or Ridiculous uh, Karate Punch Magic. So uh, we're just going to have to hope that we get crits here. That's two good crits in a row, actually. Oh, this is actually looking really good. Maybe I overleveled. I don't know if we got really lucky. We did get a few crits, like... I think our first three hits were criticals, between like 100 damage and 120. I have a feeling that's a little bit unluck unlikely, and in that gave us a quick victory. I'm fairly certain that I was level 32 the first time I killed the Lich in the past, so... I don't know, we just one-shot the Earth Cave, I mean, everybody party, that was much easier than I expected. Good work, Suck. You're not quite as Suck as I expected. Also, I mean, um, it's not a fair comparison over a, a normal run. We probably have, I'm going to say, like, plus somewhere between 8 and 10 damage on what a normal thief would have, just because of my stat maxing. Because we have a lot more strength, agility, and vitality than normal. So, uh, you know, that that's a factor. I guess we'll keep playing a little bit longer then. I didn't want to... I'm not going to do any more grinding on today's Final Fantasy section. But, uh... 
you know, if we can go do the next dungeon, we might as well. That one went really smooth. Not everyone partied. <laughs> you, you are correct. Um, promotion would require the ice cave victory. I don't know if you can say I'm going to get that lucky. I'm going to go to the castle of ordeals first again, just like the white mage. Uh, specifically to get the gold ring and the uh, Zeus's gauntlets, which will make the ice cave a little bit more manageable. I mean, the, the white mage had a real easy time with it, so maybe we'll have a real easy time with it. I need to buy some heal potions pretty soon. But we'll have enough for the Castle of Ordeals. Actually, I'm not even sure if we can beat the zombie dragon at the end of Castle of Ordeals. This is also a mystery to me. Um, I'm pretty sure we can make it to the Gold Ring and Zeus's Gauntlet. I'm not sure if we can kill the boss. How long did it take to beat Astos? Well... You see, that section was sort of cheated, but <laughs> we I, I grinded to level 24 off camera to save everyone about 10 hours of stream. And how many times did we fight Th Astos at level 24? I would say maybe 50, 50 or 60 tries before we finally killed him. Due to super speed, it, uh, it didn't take as long as normally it would take, but uh, it was pretty ridiculous. Alright, let's throw down a tent. And, uh, yeah, like, if you want to see the Astos battle, this video will be a VOD at some point, and it will show up on YouTube in a month. It's gonna be a while. Okay, Castle of Ordeals, round one. We'll probably get paralyzed, stunlocked, or, or stoned, but, uh, it's a short dungeon when you know where to go, so there shouldn't be too many... Oops, that was not the one I wanted to take. I have to win this fight as well, by the way. There's a few battles in here that will be basically unwinnable if we get bad luck. But it's a short dungeon, so you should only have to risk a couple. Like, this fight is borderline. Um, if you had four Zombles, I think we would likely die. And there's really no way you can do anything because you can't run, so. This fight should be okay. I can't remember if you can run from this one, actually. It's gonna be close. Ah, we got it, we got it. Um, that fight is one or two nightmares when you step on that square. I think you actually can run away from it, though. And I just fought it to be hardcore. Okay, the heal staff is something we might hold on to, because technically that allows us to do some healing in battle for free. I don't have to spend potions on it. I'm not a fan of that sort of thing, because it takes forever, but I'll, you know, I might need it. This is really good, though. Gold bracelet gives us pretty solid absorb for this point in the game and I don't think we can equip that. That would be amazing if I could equip the ice sword, but I'm not so lucky. Got another house and that's an important- oh right! I have to pick something to not equip. We're gonna give up on the cap for- actually, well, we'll just give up on that for now. Um, the reason it's so important to hold on to this specifically is this lets me cast Lightning 2 in battle, which uh, in a lot of encounters is going to help out a lot. Especially wizard battles. Anyway, um, so far this castle's been really, really easy. The trick is, am I strong enough to kill this guy? So far so good. I'm pretty sure he can stun you as well, but, oh, it was easy. No problem! Level 30 Thief, rocking it. This is actually going way smoother than I thought it would go. I thought for sure, for sure we would die 
on the Lich or the Zombie Dragon a few times. And, you know, maybe have a shot at it, but it would require quite a lot of grinding. So, we've got, uh... We've got the, uh, the tail, which we can't turn in to get promoted yet, but, you know, we got the extra armor from the gold bracelet and the Zeus's gauntlet, which, you know, they're pretty important. Uh, the zombie dragon is one or two. So, we fought one, which is the lower of the random dice, and I'm pretty sure they can paralyze you on a successful hit as well. So, we got lucky in that as well, that we didn't get paralyzed, stunlocked. They can also crit for, like, 300 damage, so there's that. Probably got a bit lucky. Just like we got lucky on the Lich. I mean, uh, luck is, in fact, our Thief's main stat, so it's only fair, right? Let's go stock up on potions, because we're going into the Terrible Ice Cave next. And we can do it fast. Much better than uh, regular speed potion buying. You want to make sure you got a turbo button that clicks uh, A and B really fast and uh, then go on to 100 frames per second mode. <laughs> there is actually a ROM pack, a ROM patch or ROM hack, whatever you want to call them, that uh, lets you buy heal potions in stacks of 10. It's pretty nice. It would be cool to play the ROM hacked. There's like there's a version. There's there's some versions like you can you can patch the ROMs and play them on the emulator. There is also ways of um, writing that back into a cartridge and uh, hopefully, unless something's bugged out, uh, play them on the console. It would be really neat to play this game with all of the bugs fixed from uh, you know people patching stuff later on on the actual NES on your TV. I think that'd be really cool, actually. That would be old school cool. So, if you're new, just in case, uh, we're heading to the Ice Cave, which is ten it tends to be the bane of all solo runs. It's difficult even with a group run. But uh, our thief, you know, he's real good at running away. Really good at running away. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to one-shot this ice cave, you watch. Okay, so six wizards. This is specifically why we brought the Zeus's Gauntlet. And then they all run away anyway. Maybe we're just high enough level that it doesn't matter. That's pretty good. We're probably considerably higher level than anyone else for the, for the ice cave. I think most of my teams did it at like level 20. Most of the solos were probably considerably lower level for this. And yeah, the Rizzers are just running away constantly. Ah, oh, that's good. One less random battle to worry about too much. I think I got a preemptive strike, so we're good. That's gonna hurt if I get stunned. I did not get stunned! Oh boy, this is looking better than I thought it was gonna look. May just gonna show up and just rub me out. Okay, there is a uh, was it the flame sword up in the top left? The ice sword is better, and we can't equip it anyway, so forget that. Run, run, running success. You know, not that I'm wearing heavy armor, but um. Having good evasion here is actually really helping out, because even if they do one damage, like, let's pretend I could have 100 absorb and 0% evasion. I would only take one damage per hit, but they would have a chance to stun me every time they hit me. By having a lot of evasion, it might actually give us a higher chance of surviving these battles. It's interesting. Now, a lot of that is due to our, um... Agility maxing on levels up, so you know you you probably wouldn't have quite as high of evasion naturally. You probably have five or ten more than you should have at this point in the game. But this is going pretty good for a first run. 
really good at escaping. There's like an ice shield. I don't think we can equip it though. I'll try it out, but like, yeah. The thief can never equip anything good. He's such a loser. Okay, well let's try the boss. Uh, he's probably gonna one-shot us. No. We one-shot him? What? Since when is the thief good? This is not how it's supposed to work, everybody. <laughs> what is going on? Are we going to do this? Is this happening? Is this happening live? This is happening live. We one-shot the ice cave. No saving, no, no loading, nothing. Level 30 thief just waltzes through the place, takes all the loot, walks out, no problem. Well, <laughs> the adventures of suck. <laughs> uh, we're terrible at life, but life just parts oceans for us to walk through. <laughs> oh man, don't try what I do. You will never get that lucky. Don't, don't even, don't even attempt that. Ah, oh, well, we're about to unlock all the good stuff in the game. That's the last dungeon you have to do as a thief. <laughs> so long, suckers. I'm out of here. Time to get cool. <laughs> oh, man, this is great. I didn't forget the floater. Now we can fly. <laughs> Let's go get that protect ring so that we don't get one shot. And we also get some Absorb out of it. Then we'll go pick up our Ribbon, and man, so good. All right, I didn't, like, I picked up this Zeus's Gauntlet. I didn't even need it. <laughs> pro Ring. Who needs the Pro Ring? We're already pro. <laughs> oh, that is so good. I feel sorry for everyone who watches this video or this stream. And it tries to do this on their own. I feel so sorry for you guys. You're never going to get that luck. You'll probably be doing the ice cave for like 20 hours. <laughs> oh, that was that's good. Alright, well. Maybe we'll just beat the game today rather than get stuck grinding for an hour. Or five. Let's go turn cool. Let's stop being a, a useless thief and turn into something much more awesome. There you go. The ninja. And yeah, you can actually equip weapons as a ninja. So just like that. Okay, let's let's just let's just get an example here. We used to have 35 attack and 3 hits per turn. We equip this, it goes up to 46, and we're nearly at 4 hits per turn already. Well, this is this is fun. <laughs> I needed this. This is this is a difficult difficult run, and uh, I spent all that prep time before the live stream to try to, you know, just take the edge off a little bit. And boy, did it take that edge off! <laughs> Crazy. Who would have thunk it? Suddenly, Power Ranger. Yeah, we're totally the Red Power Ranger. Oh man, good, excellent. I'm probably gonna go get the katana as soon as I can as well. <laughs> and the dragon armor and all the amazing good stuff. Alright. So we got the oxy ale that lets us go to the water temple. Yeah, the, the corpses got promoted as well. <laughs> Alright, we're heading to the uh, waterfall next. Maybe save it. Waterfall should be fine. Oh yeah, I gotta go learn some magic too pretty soon. I should probably be running from these battles still. It's not time for level grinding yet. You gotta get the ribbon first and a little bit better armor. And then we'll do level grinding. There's not really anything to gain right now fighting these battles. Other than death. Which is, you know, maybe something. People look forward to death. Or something. I don't know. Don't ask me. 
I'm playing as a thief. What do you expect? Okay, that's a tough fight. The Frost Gator hits ridiculously high and hard and often and deep. We can kill a Hydra, though. Gotta remember I'm still stat maxing, even though things are going really well right now. Ooh, that hurt. Probably, again, shouldn't be worrying about all this stuff. Fighting all these battles. I'll just start running again. We could die, you know. So, getting these key... No, we're fine. We've got the Pro Ring. Paralisks are terrible because they cast Squint, which can just one-shot kill you. But, if you've got the Protective Ring, you should be okay. I say should because, for some reason, the Ribbon and the Pro Ring have not been keeping me 100% protected lately. Don't you darkness me, stupid nightmares. His battle sprite is pretty dope, isn't it? <laughs> this is the only reason you take a thief, is because at the end of the game they get cool. <laughs> it's really the only reason you ever do it. You just, no matter what party you put them in, while they're a thief, they're terrible. And then one day, just hoping that they'll turn into something awesome. Alright. Strategy here is kill the thing that can turn me to stone, and then focus down the wizards. The wizard mummies, they don't really do much, but they hit pretty hard. We might actually be dead. Okay, well, we got put to sleep and killed. That that happens. It's fair. I, uh, I didn't say I would never die again. This is... I just need to get into that room, and after that, we'll be good. Alright, let's try this again. Maybe I'll get a little bit easier encounter. It's almost identical. <laughs> At least the cockatrice just ran. As long as I don't get put to sleep, I should be okay. Well, maybe. It's really more about evasion and critical hits here, it looks like. This is a lot of wizard mummies. This is a unusual... Like, we got two difficult battles in a row here that you often... You wouldn't get so many wizard mummies on average, I think. I, I think I normally get like two or three, often zero or one even. It's going to be very close. Dang it. Am I using macros? No, it's just f f high speed is all. I'm playing it at, I believe, 300 frames per second instead of like 60. So it's probably five times speed right now. No macros, just frame skip and the occasional save state when I'm getting frustrated to save a bit of time. Paralysts are fine. No thing to worry about. Let's try this room one more time. Third time to charm, probably. I'm still more worried about the cockatrices because they can turn me to stone. So I have to kill them first. Although I'm taking a lot of damage by those wizard mummies. Oh no! Don't deny me my ribbon! This is terrible. Alright, well, I uh, cheated that time. My menu navigation is real fast. Oh. That's muscle memory because I've played this game for so long. That, oh, that's all that is. Can I seriously not win this fight? What is going on? I just constantly put to sleep and hit by criticals. And turn to stone. That's fun too. Okay, let's uh, reset the battle with something different. Uh, that's actually better. The Paralisks can't kill me. The cockatrices ran away. This is fine. So I, I would say we got a couple really unlucky... Uh, look at those bots going all out. That actually made it through the night bot for a second. That's interesting. Anyway, uh, I think we had a couple unlucky battles. And uh, 
that's why we kept dying. So, actually, we could have better armor now, too. We could pick up the ice armor or the flame armor by now, and that would be helpful. But, the ribbon is what we really needed. I don't even need the Zeus's gauntlet anymore, hardly. So that will n prevent us from being turned to stone or mostly stun locked and all that stuff. Ah, and then the defense sword, of course. Can I equip that? Oh yeah, so good. So that brings us up to four hits with even more damage. Fight these guys on the way out. That's another significant damage upgrade. If you were playing as the pure thief without the uh, upgrade to ninja, you would still want to pick up the ribbon and the defense blade. Because you can equip the ribbon, and even if you can't equip the defense as an unpromoted character, you would still be using its ability in battle to, uh, to increase your evasions so you could win fights. Even as a thief, getting to this room makes the game a lot easier. This is all I've done for 30 years. Just gone through menus in uh, Final Fantasy 1. Yeah, the uh, the thing is, like, with healing, I get into a, a, a good routine of, of selecting, you know, right and down. Oh, I was gonna... I meant to do more um, stat maxing, but I didn't save it. So, strength, agility, no vitality. Oh, well, we'll live. So, I'm, uh, I'm gonna fall behind on my stat maxes a little bit for now. I mean, if you listen closely, you can probably hear me uh, clicking buttons on my gamepad when we're doing those healing stuff. There's actually, like, the game is actually very responsive in that sense. Uh, it doesn't wait around on the menu, so you can press the next button very quickly. It is uh, a perk of the game, I guess. Even on high speed, you can navigate through very quickly. There's not a lot of delay. Four hundred and fifty-six damage. That's not bad. You would watch a speed run. Um, I don't know what game I would speed run. I'd probably have to go with something like uh, Super Metroid. <laughs> that sounds like the kind of game I would speed run. Okay, we now have the ribbon and the defense, and that's pretty good. So what we'll do... I need some heal potions. I'm gonna go to the water shrine. Ah, unfortunately cabins are the top slot. So it'd be very annoying buying 99 heal potions there. Uh, we'll go buy some heal... Well... I can probably make it to the bottom floor. We're gonna give it a try while we're here. Oxy Ale means we can breathe in this dungeon. Oh no! This is the battle! <laughs> this is the one you're supposed to keep your Zeus's gauntlet around for. You can't run from it, and it just it's annoying because you have to fight you have to kill them all if you can't run. So <laughs> let's uh give up a little bit of armor. Let's drop the buckler for that. A actually. You can equip it, but the pro ring is much better. Um, yeah, that's fine. Don't lose any sleep over it. It's not a big deal. This is the floor of doom. It always is. This time we're ready for you guys. Look at how much quicker this goes. A free casting of lightning 2 is always a good day. Actually, I want to reorganize this a little bit. This is more for in-battle item selection help than anything else. Okay, this is an important treasure chest. If you can get it. That's the Mage Staff. That's a weapon that will uh, cast Fire 2 in battle. So now we've got Bolt 2 and Fire 2. A speedrun of Desert Bus. Yeah, but there's no ending to Desert Bus.